In this video, let's talk about how Apple just killed the royalty-free music industry with their AI-powered musicians. So Apple just launched Logic Pro 11. Now, if you purchase Logic Pro 10 in any of its previous versions, you got a free upgrade. This is just the software that keeps on giving, in my opinion. It's added three new significant AI updates that I'm going to demo to you. AI-driven musicians for drum, bass, and keyboard. You've also got the ability to split stems, which everyone wants to do. I think Apple's AI is incredible, by the way. We'll see that later on. And Chroma Glow adds a bit of buzz and fuzz to your music track your jingles, or whatever it is you're making. Let's dive in. And here to get started, we'll see the new session players. Let's start off with a drummer. Create. And you'll see it lays me down a track immediately that I can play back. And hey, this is pretty cool. Now, I'm not a drummer. I'm not even a musician. But I can slap together really quickly a royalty-free music track that I could use in my YouTube videos. Watch this. I've got the drum track. I hit plus here. I go for something else. Let's add in a bass player. It really is as simple as creating. And we get a bass session created for us. Let's listen to this. Now, don't worry, if you're not digging the vibe so far, you can change all of this up. There are multiple settings here. I'm just showing you how easy it is to create a royalty-free track, completely your own creation that you can even tweak if you want inside Logic Pro. So let's plus again and hit in the keyboard player again. We're just going with the vanilla settings we get and let's play. Now, for AI-generated music, that is insane. Now, I can obviously dial down the intensity, so if I feel like the keyboard player is a bit too powerful, let's reduce the intensity as we play it back. You'll notice how it softens down in the mix when I move that intensity slider down. We can also make it more complex. Let's ramp it back up, and look at that. Look at all the different notes the keyboard player is playing now. That's powerful and complex, if you ask me. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to throw a big like on it and also subscribe to my channel so you never miss more important audio AI updates and more. So you want to mix something up? Well, we can go in and we can change the instrument. So I'm going to choose, I've got Studio Piano selected at the moment, but I might want to go in and choose, say, a synthesizer. So let's choose the ES2 and let's just play back with the ES2 enabled. Okay, not too bad. A little bit high, you could argue, in the mix. Let's pull the complexity down a bit, pull the intensity down a bit. And we can also move the hands on the keyboard or the synth to make it play different notes. So let's move the hands down a little bit and see what notes we get now. Pretty incredible, right? Now, if we want to up the pace and maybe take it from something that's quite chilled out and laid back into something more dancey, we can so easily do that. Let's start off with the drummer here. And instead of pop rock, I'm going to just let pop rock down here. And I'm going to change my type. And you'll see I've got a bunch of different drummers here. I love electronic dance music. Let's go for an electronic drummer. And let's go for big room EDM. And within a second, we've now got an EDM drummer. Let's play it. Okay, that's sounding electronic, but let's speed it up. 110 BPM is not quite my vibe for EDM. So let's go up to 120. Let's take it up to 120. Incredible, right? Absolutely incredible. And we can speed this up, slow this down to fit whatever kind of content we're creating. Next, I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to play around with the uh, synthesizer a little bit more. You'll see we've got different settings here for the left and right hand that we can choose. So we can go for root and octave if we want to change things up a little bit more and make the style. We can make it sustain only over here on the left hand. So we get some more chords that hold on to the note. Let's play. And I'm feeling maybe that that festival drop is a little bit harsh. Let's uh, swap up our drummer and maybe make some tech house. And as I choose tech house, I might actually choose to dial the drummer down in intensity. And if at any point I want to focus on one instrument, say our 
guitarist here or our bass player, I can solo this and go back to what's happening over here. And again, if I want, I can go in and I can change up change up what's playing there on this track. So you can see this is the Ibiza tech that we've got going here. It's a load of plugins that are making this sound great. I might go in and say, well, do you know what? Let's actually change the instrument. Let's get in some maracas and get rid of those cymbals, for instance. And we might just get rid of um, one of the kick drums here. And maybe let's put in, they look like bongos and let's See what we get now when we bring everything back in the mix. We can change the complexity and intensity of our bass right up and play that back. That's a hard-working bass player, isn't it? So there you go. You can see why Apple are firmly stepping into the mix with their AI tools already. Logic Pro, I think, is just a glimpse into what we're going to get at WWDC later on this year for AI in general. But AI music... This really, to me, signals the end of the royalty-free music industry. We've already got tools such as Udio, and we've got Suno out there, and other things being released all the time that can generate full music tracks, and now Apple's Logic Pro can do it, and you can have fine-grained control over it. I cannot see how you'd need to buy royalty-free music in the future. What do you think? I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this. Is this product as it is with AI-powered musicians good enough? Or does it need improvement and tweaking? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, let's move on because we've got two more AI-powered features to get through in this video. The next one is the stem splitter. When Apple do something, they do it incredibly well, and it's no difference with the stem splitter inside Logic Pro 11. Let's have a look. I've got a jingle loaded in to my first primary track here. As you'll hear, drums going on, synths, and more, and singing. And Apple in Logic Pro have made it so easy to split the stems. Uh, better than any AI-powered tool out there, I think. Just right-click the track, and then you want to go down to Processing here and click Stem Splitter. This is new, and then you can choose which stems do split out. So you might want to only do a few, but I've got everything here. Vocals, drums, bass, and other. Let's split and zoomp. It's as quick as that. That's nuts, isn't it? Uh, so it's split out my stems and I can resize my tracks here. So now you'll see it's muted the original track and give me vocals, drums and bass all on their own. So first of all, let's solo the vocals and see how well it makes our a cappella mix. What hope sounds like Hope Radio W-E-H-P Best vocal isolation on the market right now. Logic Pro, Apple, 10 out of 10. That's nuts. That's incredible. I didn't hear any artifacting, didn't hear any glitching. Apple have cracked this. Let's move on and let's solo the drums and have a listen to those. Wow. Yeah, you know when Apple do something, they're going to do it well. This is incredible stem splitting. Uh, whatever they've put in here is just great. Bass. Okay, we've got a bit of a hum there coming in. And then let's skip. Yep. Okay, maybe a little bit breaking through on the bass, but it's quite complex to pull the bass out of that track. Uh, so for a little bass uh, isolation there, awesome. And then we've got other stuff. So let's listen to the other stuff that Logic isolated here. Okay, that's cool. Now maybe I just want the karaoke version of a track. So uh, get rid of the vocals and give me just the music. Let's listen to maybe how this sounds. Whoa. And then we'll just uh, remember that the vocals are there again. W-E-H-P Okay, one thing I'd like to try with this is actually to get rid of 
the drums here. So we've got just the vocals and the bass and the other instruments. What hope sounds like. And I'm really curious, can I bring in an AI powered drummer to change how this mix sounds? So up here, we're gonna hit plus and we're gonna bring in a drummer in our AI powered session players, create Whoa, okay, and it's throwing me a drummer in on this track here. We'll click solo so it's in there too. And let's listen to this and see if it sounds all right. No way. Whoa! Combining stem splitting and the ability to use AI musicians in Logic Pro, super powerful. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna cover the last AI powered feature. It's called Chroma Glow. And I'm gonna try it first of all on the drums. Let's solo them. There they are in their initial form. And then if I go to the audio effects area here and we want to look for distortion and then we've got Chroma Glow up here, stereo Chroma Glow that we're putting there on the drum track. And essentially you can choose your model so you can run it through different tubes or magnetic or squeeze. These are different styles of saturation, essentially distorting parts of the audio to give it an extra pizzazz, if you like, or really nice sound. You can also choose the style. You can make it clean or colorful. You can buy bypass low end frequencies as well, choose your levels and the mix of saturation you want. So I'm just gonna try cranking this up as I play the drums back. Okay, so you can hear how it's distorting those drums. If I don't like the mix, maybe I can leave the drive at 64, but bring the mix down. Okay, so you can hear I've put the drive at 64%, the mix at 50%, and it's given me a nice little edginess to the drums without being too overpowering. And here I've got it loaded in on the synthesizer. So let's go for something else. Let's try squeeze and let's drag the squeeze up. Okay, now obviously this is just an initial play, but I can hear saturation enhancements, particularly of high-end frequencies there. But if you were to play with this more and more and dial it into your needs, I can see how it could really add edginess to music or audio that you're creating. And of course, this is powered by AI. It's trained on different music sets to really create the style that hopefully you're going for in your creations. So there you go, Logic Pro 11. It's now out on Mac OS, also on iPad as well. It's got session players, it's got stem splitters, Chroma Glow, AI driven. This is just incredible stuff from Apple. And so you can do all kinds of different things with music tracks, audio files. Now you do need Mac OS Ventura 13.5 or iPad OS 17.4 to use these updates. And the pricing on this, well, it's a free update for existing users. Cannot believe that. I purchased Logic a while back and I just got this upgrade and it's nice. Um, if you're in the US, it's going to be around $199, I think. In the UK, uh, similar in in British pounds and elsewhere in the world, your currency may vary. You can also pay per month or per year for a subscription on iPad. And I believe there is a one month free trial for new users, okay? Now, if you really enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more AI tools for your own content creation, check out my brand new YouTube channel. It's called Creator Magic. It's showing up on your screen right now, or you can find it in the links in the description down below.